What is a treatment plan and why is one necessary? Hi, this is Melinda from Heal Play Love University. So you go to the counselor to talk about your child's interesting behavior and she wants you to sign a treatment plan. This term may sound a bit off-putting and may be confusing if it hasn't been explained properly. So what is it? A treatment plan is the why you are here and what are we doing of therapy. It is a document that includes the presenting problems, goals related to addressing those problems, and interventions that will be implemented to reach those goals. It's a roadmap to help guide therapy sessions so that they are more effective in helping you do whatever it is that you want to do in therapy. It's a way for you and your therapist to stay on track and watch for progress. While you may state that your goals for therapy are just to feel better or to stop being so anxious or even, I don't really know, your therapist will or should help you identify the reasons for seeking services and create measurable, sometimes behaviorally based benchmarks to identify progress or lack thereof. For example, an identified problem may look like this. Client presents with anger outbursts and inability to, in, to control impulses at home and at school. This will often be followed by frequency, intensity, and duration indicators such as evidenced by yelling, throwing self on floor, and kicking legs around three times per day for 30 to 45 minutes each at moderate intensity. The goal or the quote unquote measurable objective may be something like client and or family will identify and process three to five coping skills to assist client in managing strong emotions. Or client and or family will identify triggers to outbursts in three out of five situations or any variation applicable to family and circumstances. While this all sounds medical-ish, treatment plans are not meant to pathologize or sterilize the therapeutic relationship. The actual sessions can still be warm, fuzzy, supportive, and compassionate. You won't even have to worry about the technical jargon. It's only used with these sorts of required clinical documents that allow your therapist to meet ethical, legal, and other requirements. And the why. Why do we have treatment plans? Well, to sum it up, mostly for insurance billing. Insurance companies want to know that services rendered are for cause or that they meet medical necessity. This is why we also have to diagnose, but that's another story. In therapy, just like in medical practice, providers must perform services that are necessary and appropriate for the client. You don't go to your doctor for an ear infection and get a cast put on your leg. It's the same with the mental health profession. Law, ethics, and money demand accountability. Treatment plans can be updated whenever issues, needs, or goals change, but must be updated every six months to one year, depending on where you live and what insurance company you use. Treatment plans don't limit service. You can have a few in-progress issues at the same time, complete all of your stated goals, and then get a new treatment plan based on new issues that have popped up, either by the therapeutic insight or life in general. Things you should know about your treatment plan. It's a GPS of emotional relational sorts. You should be a collaborative part of its creation you can ask to have things changed on it before you agree to sign or participate. You are allowed to ask questions about it and about the therapeutic process. It can and should be updated regularly. So that is what I have about treatment plans. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the discussion below. Please subscribe if you've liked this content. This will help us get the message out to more people who would like to hear it. Thank you so much for listening. This has been Melinda with Heal Play Love University.